Hi, my name is Courtney Turner and I'm an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today I'm going to talk about the DL950 multi-unit synchronization option. The DL950 scope quarter is a hybrid instrument that combines an oscilloscope and portable data acquisition recorder that can be used to capture both high-speed transient events and long-run trends. There are many cases where more channels may be needed, such as battery cell evaluation, multi-point vibration analysis, and multi-point strain testing. The multi-unit synchronization option for the DL950 allows you to time synchronize up to five DL950s for a total of up to 160 channels. All time-based settings are synchronized with the main unit, including time per division, record length, and the trigger settings. Individual channel settings, math, analysis, and more are set separately by each unit. For synchronization, you will need two to five DL950s, the C50 option for each DL950, the most recent firmware installed, SFP modules, and a multi-mode LC-type optical fiber cord. To make the physical connection between multiple DL950s, you'll need to install the SFP modules and connect the optical cords. To install the SFP modules, start with the DL950s turned off. Insert the modules into the link connectors on the right side of the instrument. Tilt the latch lever down and align the SFP module with the guide on the link connector. Slowly push it in until you hear a click. To connect the optical fiber cords, use a dedicated fiber optic cleaner to clean the fiber connectors. Align the optical fiber cords connector with the SFP module's optical port and insert the connector. Make sure not to shake the connector or try to force it into the port or the connector may get damaged. When connecting more than two instruments, four SFP modules will be installed in the main unit and will be connected to one in each subunit. To configure the main and subunits, press the setup button. Tap multi-unit sync, set one of the units to main unit and the rest to subunit. On all the units, tap connect. At the top of the screen, it will show that connection has been established. All time-based settings on the DL950s are synchronized. Changing the time per division on one, for example, changes the time per division on all of them. Vertical axis settings are set independently. Once the settings are configured, press start on the main unit to begin measurement on all DL950s. After the recording is complete, you can save waveform files individually on each DL950. To do this, press File. Under Save, press Waveform. Press Destination and select the save destination. The save settings need to be set on each DL950, but when you press Save Execute on the main unit, the subunits will simultaneously save their waveform data. Files are saved in folders automatically named by date and time. The main unit files are saved with an underscore main at the end, and subunits are saved with an underscore sub and the number corresponding to which subunit it is. If you want to display all the channels from all the DL950s on one screen and save the data in one file, the IS8000 software can be used. You can connect the DL950s to the software to control them remotely, record data, transfer data saved on the DL950s to your PC, or load data for analysis. In DAC mode, all the channels from all the DL950s are displayed on one time base. Click on the channel settings to add and remove channels you want to record. Once the settings are configured, press Start and Record. When data collection is stopped, the data is automatically saved to a specified folder on your PC that can be opened for analysis at any time. As mentioned earlier, files saved on the DL950s are saved simultaneously, but separately on each DL950. To open the files, press File Open, find the file or files you want to open in the directory, and press Open. To see the files on separate tabs, open each file individually. 
There are two ways to see all the waveforms from all the DL 950s on one screen with one time base. The first is to select multiple files at once by holding down the control key and clicking each file. Keep in mind, you may want to move the files from the DL 950s to one folder to make this easier. The other way is to open the files in separate tabs as shown earlier, press the three dots next to the waveform file names, and press Start Coaxial. Now that the files are open, IS8000 can be used to zoom on waveforms, create math channels, view cursor measurements, output data to CSV, and much more for data analysis. The DL950 and IS8000 are great tools for applications requiring high channel count, multiple input types, and long data recording at fast sample rates. To learn more about the DL950 and IS8000, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com. Thank you for watching.